Hi, hi. Uh, welcome to the first session of uh, Tea with Yoyo. -Yo. Um, uh, I actually don't know how to how I'm going to do this. That's why I just brought a teacup to feel a bit more like a tea session. Um, maybe in the future I'll start to do live sessions to have Tea with Yoyo -Yo virtually. Um, and the idea is that we can relax and talk about some random topics uh, about our learnings in life. Uh, one thing I have started about 20 days ago was uh, I wanted to go off all the processed sugar, meaning that uh, I would not eat ice cream, I would not touch cakes with added sugar, most, which most of the cakes are. Uh, I would not have any sweet soft drinks. Um, I would not have any you know, dessert for sure. Um, and why I started this was that um, maybe for the past a few months I, I kind of became very comfortable in picking up cakes in the fridge and every time I'll eat a, a few pieces of cakes and the cake in the house really finished very fast. And then uh, I think my mind was conditioned to believe that you know that small sweet treats uh, are going to make me happy. And then whenever there's some event or something or when we just taking a walk along the river, we'll be like, okay, to top it up with some more pleasure, um, just walk into that desert store, right? So one day I, I was suddenly waking up to one thing that I actually do not enjoy eating the sweets, not only after, but even when I was eating it. It's just the idea of eating sweets kind of kept me happy. And number two is obviously after eating it, there will be a very long period of me feeling unhappy about it as well, right? Because my body doesn't want so much of sugar and my belief system is about not to eat unhealthily. So, then why am I doing it? Just because I thought it will be a happy thing and it's actually not a happy thing, but then I'm doing it. So that doesn't make any sense, right? So, so with that realization, I was uh, finding it very clear that I believe in one thing and then I'm doing another thing. So once I'm clear of my belief and knowing my action has a gap, I just move my action to um, where my belief is and say, okay, I believe that sugar is not good for me and I should not eat it and I'm going to not eat it. So um, that's how I started about 20 days ago. Uh, actually, I started 30 days ago and then on the 10th day, I had a date with a girlfriend and then we couldn't find any kind of a, a proper place to sit down but um, one of the Cantonese uh, dessert store uh, and I couldn't resist and I had one and that's where I said okay if I I'm uh, you know, I, I kind of have to punish myself, but I also don't want to make it a bad experience. So I thought, that's okay. Uh, I would just reset my counter and make that the first day. So that's why now I'm on the 20, 20th day, which is actually in, in real uh, actual fact is actually the 30th day. Um, if you ask me how I felt, um, I think I felt pretty... Uh, Okay, in most of the cases when I was, uh, you know, being asked, do you want a drink? I'll be now programmed to say, no, I have water because I do carry water all the time. And then when my family members asked me, even if we had two birthdays in between, uh, I had once, I must confess, but it was a lot because my rule was that within 30 days, I should have one day of uh, cheating day. So I had that once and the other time uh, I took the strawberry off the birthday cake. So um, hopefully I'll last through these 30 days uh, without another break and reset back to counter one. I think such a thing has a certain meaning for me because whenever I believe in something and I'm able to do it, um, the feeling is the confidence that comes back that, yeah, I can do it. Um, if I say I'm going to run five kilometers every morning and I indeed do that, I have even more confidence like anything I have set my mind to, I will be able to do it. So that is uh, a 
perhaps the biggest or best solution for any procrastination or any kind of self-doubt um, because I think I, I realize that a lot of times my struggle or my clients, the, the clients who, who share with me their struggle is always about saying uh, they believe in something and then they are not able to do it with this huge gap and then they look at the gap and feel really bad about themselves um, for example some people say I believe I think it's time to take care of my body because I'm not healthy but their act is they still sleep at 2 a.m. and then they overwork themselves and then they say I really want to rest but I can't bring myself to do it so once we are able to bring ourselves to do something we believe that feels so much of relief just in, like in my case of going off sugar that I do miss dessert sometimes I do miss that ceremony kind of feeling of you know giving yourself some sweet treats I mm, still feel really good and light and confident that I can say I can live my the life that I say I want to I want to have. Honoring your own values is, is really, really nice. So I'll urge you to try if you really have similar cases where you say, I, I believe in something and I have not been able to bring myself to do it. Try it, even if in small, small dosage of um, maybe 24 hours, say if it's a mobile phone addiction or if it's uh, about uh, overthinking, let's say a small dosage of just one hour. I myself, I have a testimony as well because uh, I uh, decided to go vegetarian three years ago. Um, although because of various reasons and then I had a child and all that nutrition concerns, so I didn't go ahead till March this year. And uh, I finally started in March all the way till now. So for my principles, I will not order any meat or fish. Uh, in the restaurants or at home, uh, but I may pick some of my child's leftover just because I'm not the cause of uh, killing that animal in a way. I know uh, this is there is no right or wrong. I'm not saying vegetarian has you know um, has to be the absolute right thing to do. But what what matters to me is that it is my belief that I want to live a life like this and uh, um, before I started in March there was a long time where I kept feeling like uh, kind of a bit of a guilt and a bit of looking down on myself when I believe in one thing um, which is I want to be a vegetarian and at the same time I was still eating a lot of meat so that was a huge gap that was unsettling so till only after I started to really be a vegetarian, I still, of course, I still miss my the beef, <laughs> the the tandoori chicken, the um, you know the chicken drumstick, and all those lovely and yummy stuff. I have been able to totally stop eating meat, and uh, that is something that gives me a lot of confidence. That I know if I am determined to drive this you know off sugar say forever and with maybe one cheating day <laughs> I'll still do that per month or cheating day per week uh, I haven't decided uh, should I one one day per week one day per month for cheating day please tell me <laughs> um, but either way I feel like a lot more supported and confident that I will be able to last through because if I can even get rid of you know meat from my diet what is sugar to me right and what is some of the lazy habits to me um, I, I just have this superpower with me to control the, the controllable things in my life so that's what I have uh, learned and I hope to share with you that this life experience, how wonderful it is. See you next session.